Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a halo eyeshadow look and if you don't know what halo eyeshadow look means, it means that my eyelid is shiny. The middle of my eyelid. That's it. Nothing else. It's very simple. Don't be scared of the name. I'm actually guiding through this eyeshadow look a little bit better than last time's because one of my friends uh, actually requested me to do uh, more detail and more in-depth uh, when I'm um, doing eyeshadow looks so I'm trying to do it better I hope I'm doing it I'm not sure let me know in the comment section that I'm not explaining enough because I'm doing this makeup look for you guys and I want you guys to learn so let me know and if you guys wondering why I have straight hair for like a couple of videos I misplaced my curling iron and I cannot find it and the only option is for me to do straight hair I'm learning how to do curls with my straightener if I figure it out, I will let you guys know um, because I don't have that type of a straightener. So without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. So I already moisturized my face and my lips, so I'm going to start with primer first. Ignore my baby hair because I cannot do anything. For today's foundation, I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 490W and I'm going to use a little bit of e.l.f. as always. <laughs> I'm looking at the mirror in front of me so don't think that I'm looking somewhere else. These two foundation is literally my face in a bottle because uh, when I put this foundation I don't feel like uh, my skin is getting lighter like too much lighter and it covers up my everything so I like it. The hate when foundation gives you unnecessary lightening to your skin because you don't need it. The foundation, the main purpose of the foundation is to cover up your blemishes, not to get lighter. I didn't use this concealer for a little while, I think, I'm not sure. So I'm going to use this uh, Makeup Revolution um, concealer in the shade C11. God, it's so hot I have no idea why I wear this this is way too big for me and it's way too long and it's really really hot here <sighs> I feel like I'm suffocating next I'm gonna use this Kat Von D translucent powder to set my under eyes and the t-zone Ignore my nails, I only painted one set of nails and I got distracted and then I forgot. And this morning I remembered and I didn't want this color, I wanted something else. So after the video I'm going to change it. So for now it's just like this. Next I'm going to fill my eyebrows with this uh, L'Oreal gel eyeliner. My eyebrows are getting worse and worse, just ignore. This quarantine is kicking my butt. Yep. One second. I'll be back. I have the driest skin on this earth. I'm not kidding. I messed up my eyebrows. Let me fix it because I can't bear to look at it. Thank you. 
And next I'm gonna use Maybelline Clear Brochel. For transitioning shade and for the crease, I'm going to use this uh, Makeup Revolution uh, Velvet Rose Eyeshadow Palette. And for the transitioning shade, I'm going to use this shade all over my eyelid and my eye crease. For the crease, I'm going to mix these two shades, this one and this one. And I'm going to apply it on my crease. but. I'm not gonna go all the way in, I'm gonna stop right here, as always. Blend, 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 until you have hearts. <sighs> and for the entire eyelid, I'm gonna use this shade. These are samples that I got and I never used this one. I used this one only like two times. So I wanted to use these two. To the entire eyelid, I'm gonna use this shade. It's like a brown, almost like maroon shade. I'm not sure what color do you see, but it's like a brown shade. It looks really, really light to the camera, but it's a dark color. As you can see, I use that color to my entire eyelid. Usually, I leave this inner corner. I didn't leave that today. I use that color to my entire eyelid. Before I do anything to this eyeshadow, I'm gonna blend this eyeshadow really well with nothing on it. Um, I'm gonna blend all the hush lines, places that I didn't blend. I feel like I need a little bit of color to my outer corner, so I'm gonna use um, Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose Palette and I'm gonna mix these two shades to my outer corner to create a kind of a smoky eye look. Not too much. And if you don't know how to mix eyeshadows, you just have to dab those two colors like back and forth and then try it. If you feel like one color is not enough, go back. <laughs> That's how you mix it. And I'm gonna use the same two shades to go underneath my waterline. And now is the halo part of the eyeshadow. This is the halo part. <laughs> So whatever the shimmer color that you wanted to use, you can use this on middle of the eyelid. And I'm gonna use my fingers. You can use a brush if you wanted to. For me, I can pack the color really well with my fingers. Like this and dab it. So I packed my color, now I'm gonna blend it with a brush that nothing on it. Next I'm gonna create a wing eyeliner using this Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. And next I'm gonna use this Falsies. It is time to change these falsies. It's time to throw this away and get a new one, but I cannot go outside. So I have nothing but to wear this. And I think from the next video, if I couldn't find another pair, I might have to stop using uh, falsies because these are old. I really need to change them. So next I'm gonna use this uh, Maybelline mascara. I'm gonna use a very little bit on my top lashes. I'm not gonna use too much because I already have falsies, but I'm gonna use a good amount of mascara on my bottom lashes. Mm -hmm. 
So next I'm going to use this e.l.f. contour palette to contour my face. Next, I'm going to use this blush from this Morphe palette, uh, the shade Call on Drama. And next, I'm going to use this OFRA or Ofra highlighting powder to highlight my face. I have to finish my sentences. I never finish them. Next, I'm going to use this NYX Espresso Lip Liner. Next, I'm going to use this Contact Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mad Love. It smells like coconut and caramel. And I'm going to use a little bit of this e.l.f. Uh, lip gloss in the shade um, Rose Quarters. Glossy lips, shiny eyelids. You might think because I'm into makeup that I'm a girly girl. I'm not. Trust me. People who knows me knows me very well that I'm not a girly girl. <laughs> Last step, I'm gonna use this uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set my makeup. So this is the finished look, my halo eyeshadow look. So yeah, this is my look and if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what kind of videos that you want me to do next and also what do you think about this makeup look and please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification, that little bell sign so whenever I upload a video, you'll get a notification. That's fine. Just one little thing.